Hello guys, welcome back in the Laravel 5.8 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the form handling. We will uh, create a form and we will submit it to the controller and we will also make the controller from very scratch so that you can understand all these things. Okay, so now let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to introduce you about the file structure in which files we have to change. Okay, so uh, first of all, we need to make a view or HTML form okay view of HTML form inside the view file and second thing we need to make a route need to and third thing need to make a controller okay so we will do it one by one first of all uh, we have to make the form HTML okay so inside the resource folder you will see that uh, view folder just click a right click here and create a new file with the name of uh, let's say login dot blade dot php nice just write here uh, h1 tag and you can write like uh, login nice mm just uh, make a form here inside the form we have to pass the url and we will pass it after the making the um, routings okay so just you can pass the method here method should be post for now and pass the three two fields which is the input and the name of input is user just take second one is password and name should be password and at the last just write here button and we can write here login with the type submit okay just correct the spell nice so form is ready almost so uh, just we did already one thing we already made the url we have to change one thing i will tell you what we have to change in, inside that and now we need to make a route for it okay so this is our previous video route where we just uh, uh, understand how we can handle uh, uh, requests so if you want to this video you can watch in or the uh, channel or the link is also given in the description box okay so for that i'm going to make a new route okay so we don't need this one also so just write here route post because it's a post method and uh, let's say the path is login here and inside the login uh, what we will find that uh, we need a uh, component let's say my component uh, controller name is YouTube I have to make it yet but we can provide the URL before it and the function name and my function name let's say index nice this is used for controller you can write here controller or after submit this okay and the second thing is uh, we have to in the home what we can go we will load the form so that you can just write here view file which is uh, lo login which is uh, placed in the view folder okay so just uh, refresh it and you will see that we got the form here okay so now uh, we have to pass this url login to the HTML form action nice we passed it all right so we did all things we make uh, we did two things now we have to make a controller also for the controller just go to the command line and write here PHP artisan make controller and controller name my controller name it should be YouTube as we discussed 
okay the file is created here we discuss already here okay so where it will be available inside the htm uh, http controller uh, controllers and inside you will find this okay and just write here uh, as we discussed uh, index function okay so i just write here um, function index and inside this we have to pass the request type okay so i just going to pass your request nice so i am going to just print r print underscore r and just write here dollar request so that we will uh, got the all the request data so but we need only inputs which is provided from the form so we can just write here this one now everything is ready so but still you will get an issue whenever you are going to uh, insert uh, whenever you will hit this then you will the issue is that just i just talked about this is the page expire to resolve this you have to write one thing inside your login.blade.php okay so what is that inside the form just write here at the rate csrf why we have to need this because in the laravel uh, when we are submitting something from the form it will expect that it will get a token okay so now i'm going to hit the form and you will see that there is a three inputs one is the user another is the password and third one is the csrf token okay so just go back and just write here let's say um, nil in and uh, the password is one two three and just hit the enter then you will see that we got the token here because without this token we cannot give the request to our level have inbuilt functionality for this username and the password okay so this is a very basic uh, form submission video and if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel like this video thanks guys thanks for watching this video